Hi guys, I'm Lucine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We created this really simple, uh, glittery uh, makeup look for New Year's Eve on a budget and we went to the drugstore. So we wanted to take you on the journey with us so you could see how I went about picking the brands, the colors, the products, and why I chose the products I chose. So come on with us. I hope you guys have a good time and we'll see you back here to start on our tutorial. So we just came to CVS and we're in the makeup department. We're gonna try to find all that we need to create a really cool um, New Year's Eve look on, with a budget. So I've watched a few tutorials and time and time again I've seen um, tutorials with the Maybelline Infallible and I really really want to try that so, so I went ahead and picked this Infallible Pro Glow Concealer so guys what I decided to do for you because we can't open them up and check out which one's better as far as the pigment and um, color payoff I'm gonna buy a couple maybe three of each that I think would be great when we get back I'm gonna try them all and let you know which ones are the best so you can go buy them for yourselves because it's really hard to tell just from the these packagings which one's gonna be a better job so we found two shadows that we think we might like I really love this Milani one because it looks like it's got a lot of shimmer like particles in there and then I also like this physicians formula one that has looks like it's got shimmer in there but we have a little bit more options so we'll check these two out so NYX is buy two and get the third free so I think we're gonna get the rest of our stuff from here which is our blush our contour and either liner or mascara so let's see what we can find that we like best <laughs> So as far as mascara, I just saw this really cute gift set by Wet n Wild and they're five mascaras for $4.99, they're dollar each. So for New Year's Eve, who does not like a black smudgy um, eye and I think we're going to try this eyeliner by Revlon. So because we like highlighters so much, we also picked up this Wet n Wild highlighting gold bar because we were told it has great, great pigment. So let's see. So let's get started with our New Year's Eve look. So we came back from uh, CVS and bought all this product. So we're gonna start with the eyes. Start with um, priming the eyes. And I, since we're doing this on a budget, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on what to do, how to use products uh, more than one way. And what I'm gonna be doing is using the concealer that I bought for under my eyes as my eyeshadow primer. So for the concealer, we purchased this Maybelline Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is a 16 hour wear concealer and as I mentioned, it's a peachy tone. But we're going to put it on our uh, lids for now. I'm going to use this um, Morphe, 120, Morphe E23 brush to apply. So I put a really, really thin layer all over my lid. So for our contour um, powder, we got this NYX uh, contour powder in double date. I picked this because it's got more of a grayish, like a cool brown tone to mimic that, mimic um, like a shadow under, you know, uh, as my contour. But I'm also going to be doubling this up. The light color I'm going to be using to set my overall shadow. So I'm going to use the contour shade as my transition shade. And I'm going to be using just a fluffy um, crease brush and this one is by Smashbox Cosmetic. Actually the pigment is uh, payoff is not so bad. Because I want these products to really really pop, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my concealer that just to allow for something to adhere to the shadows. You want that shadow to really pop and you could just blend it with your fingertips if you want. Next, I'm going to go in with the second, and this one's a Physician's Formula. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I'm using my fingertips because you'll get a better color payoff that way. I'm going to go in with the lighter color, the first color, with my little pinky, and I'm going to go on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten up that inner corner even more. So using that same palette, I'm going to be going with the darker color and going on the outer corner of my eye. I'm excited to use this other shadow. And now we're going to go over top just to give it more drama because 
This one, which is by Milani, seems to have a lot more pigment. And when I kind of played with it with my fingers, I could tell it had a lot of shimmer. And I'm going to dip my finger into this shimmery color right here. I'm going to add like just more sparkle to my eyes. This is great for New Year's Eve, actually. So next, we're going to go in with the um, eyeliner. I'm going to line as close to my lash line as possible in small, just small uh, motions. As you go to the inner corner, you want to taper it in so that it kind of disappears. So I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about this, um, this liner because I feel like it dries so quickly. It's not allowing me like playtime. You can use any black shadow that you have at home. Just use a really thin angled liner and just go and set that because uh, we used the shimmery kind of like speckly um, eyeshadow and that can make it hard for you to do your liner. Okay, I'm hoping this is gonna line the inside of my eyes. So I'm sure everybody has a black liner at home so use your favorite one that you have. And I'm going to go in and just slightly blend it out. So we're ready for our primer. I'm going to do my lashes at the end. I'm going to be using this Pop Beauty Zero Shine Primer, which is sold at Target. I don't know the amount, but we'll link the um, product down below so that you guys can check it out. So we're going to be using this um, beauty sponge, which I believe I bought from Target or I bought it from Amazon. I'll link it either below or right above so you guys can check it out. I believe these were $8 and I will be applying my foundation with it. And I'm going to be applying the 24 hour wear Maybelline uh, Pro Glow. I got the Pro Glow, even though it's 24 hours. I like for my skin to look more dewy as opposed to too matte. We did a pretty good job on the, getting the color because it's really, really close. Okay, now for the concealer. So I'm pu I put the concealer on where I want to bring out um, forth. For example, my under eyes like are, are more, they seem more deep. So what the concealer does, it brightens it and it really brings out that, that depth. Okay, we didn't get powder today, but I'm sure everybody has powder. So any powder that you have, you can just set your face foundation. So I'm gonna be using a translucent powder by RCMA, and I believe those aren't very expensive either, but again, you may have your favorite powder that you can use. Now, before we go into highlight and contour, I'm gonna finish my brows. You could use any shadow, honestly, that's maybe a shade lighter than your um, original brow color. And just lightly go over the top. I try to leave the center because I don't like to fill in the center portion so much because you don't want it, your eyes to, you know, your brows to make you look too harsh. I'm going to be using that um, shadow, the first, the lightest color for my brow bone. So the lashes that I'm putting on are by Elegant Lashes and they're one of my favorites. On the bottom, just for like a fun pop of color. Okay, so using that same brush that I applied my um, the highlighter, I'm gonna use that brush. Go in with that contour color that we used for our crease, and just soften and um, give a little bit of a shadow to the to that purple that we just used, and go just just below that purple. I've discovered a really really cool. Um, like contour brush that I'm obsessed with and this one's by BH Cosmetics as well. It's the number 16 brush. I'm going to dip into this color and I'm going to be using really, really light pressure. So we're going to be going into blush and I'm going to be using this NYX blush in the color Wonderlust 
place it just at the apple of my cheeks. And next for the highlighter. So I'm gonna be going in with the um, Physician's Formula because it's like a cream to powder highlighter. I'm gonna use my fingers for this just so I can get the right placement. So this is pretty if you don't want too much of a powdery look and you want something to look kind of like you're glowing from within, this is perfect. This is all you need. I'm gonna go in with just a fan brush. On one side, I'm going to be doing, they're both Wet n Wild, I'm gonna be doing the Wet n Wild Rainbow Highlighter. And then the next one, we're gonna be using the Gold Bar, again by Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna be highlighting my Cupid's bow just a little bit. And I like to just use whatever is left on the brush, just to the tip of my nose, but super, super light. And I like to go back with the brush that I had and just blend everything together. So for mascara, we got this, this set. And I think I'm gonna try to go for the maximum volume. So we bought two different uh, NYX lip, uh, matte lip creams. And the first one was Cons, which is the darker one. And then the lighter one was Athens. You can, I'm gonna probably go in with a darker one and then lighten it up. Or you can, if you want more of a nude lip, then you can use the lighter color and then darken the um, outer areas with a darker one and give it more of um, an ombre effect. So I'm gonna go in um, with Girlactic Beauty and this one's also available in drugstores. And I love her lip, um, the paint. I'm just gonna go in the center. So the Milani Quad Shadow is 1079. Okay, so this was 929. The big blush was 729. So I would say this was seven, six dollars and this was like four dollars. So not too bad so we got that one for free mascara I would say a dollar right I think my favorite is probably the gold bar to be honest with you that way you're not confused about what colors to mix in there so I would do do the gold bar which was 529 the foundation that was 1049 but we got four dollars in what is it called buck you know four dollars in credit with them so I would say that was eight dollars pro glow the concealer which was 1349 that's also discounted so I would say that was eleven dollars so I feel like you could get away with just this um, this whole shadow so I would say take your pick do you want more more glitter or do you want more just shimmer all in all what did we spend $51.94 and that's actually not bad and if you do want to add this it's going to be about $65 with a discount but then you get a bunch of coupons that you could use for next time and use it towards more more you know makeup products so I hope you guys found this informative I hope you guys um, are able to recreate this if you do please send me um, your videos or send DM me with your videos forward it to me I'm gonna be watching every single one we'll be listing all the products down below that we've used as well as what they retail for and click on the link to subscribe if you want to watch more videos and send me suggestions please on what you guys want to see what you guys want me to recreate and I'll be happy to do that for you guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time bye guys